Let's try this again. Mike. Is it odd? Seeing me in person? No, I'm glad you're here. Although I'm guessing this means trouble. You could say that. I came here because we're out of time. Taipei, Rome, Moscow. As far as the agency is concerned, they've been resolved to Halbeck's satisfaction. Perhaps not ideally, but Halbeck's projections are optimistic. So they don't even know they're starting a war. Not yet. First they'll delete Alpha Protocol and erase everything associated with it. And that means you. Then I have to stop them. Alone. You've done enough. No, Mike, I haven't. I could have done more. I could... If Alpha Protocol is erased, then you're erased. Whatever life you had will be gone. You'll be rogue forever. Until someone finds you and kills you. And I can't let that happen to you. I can't let that happen to you either, Mina. You've been there for me since the beginning. And it sounds like Alpha Protocol isn't choosing who survives. That means you're in danger too. Am I right? Yes. Mina, we're going to get through this. Mike. I mean it. We're going to be all right. <laughs> I still don't see how you can say that. Oh, I don't believe it. But we've been doing all right so far. If Halbeck isn't exposed, if Alpha Protocol isn't exposed... Or both. Then they'll think they've won. Until the war begins. Then everybody loses. Why do you keep doing it, Mike? Is it because you want to see Halbeck answer for what it did? Or were you just following orders? Nina, your whole life, your whole career has been in government. I mean, you are Alpha Protocol. No, Mike, I'm not. You're throwing away your entire career. Why? Because I'm responsible for you, Mike. I'm the one who cut you loose. I knew they were going to kill you, so I did the only thing I could think of. I used Alpha Protocol for its intended purpose. Why did you do it? Why did you make me rogue? I read your dossier, Mike. You always try to do what's right, as long as you can act on your own. So I saved you from the missile and helped you go rogue. And I purposely cut you off from Westridge. So who are you really working for? I can't tell you, Mike. But they want to prevent what's about to happen. And seeing programs like Alpha Protocol dragged out into the open so they can be shut down. Even if they hurt the United States? Alpha Protocol isn't the United States, Mike. And if stopping Alpha Protocol prevents World War III, then it's in the world's interests, not ours. So, we have to save the world while the whole world is out to get us. Have to love those odds. It could be worse. Although I'm not sure how. You've been a guardian angel to me, Mina. Thanks. It was the least I could do. No, you could have left me in Saudi Arabia. You didn't. I won't forget it. So, all I have to do is find a top secret facility located in God knows where, defeat the folks that trained me, along with a battalion of agents and marines, recover the evidence of an international conspiracy, and, oh, prevent World War III. I think that about sums it up. Yes, I better get started then. But first, you better get to safety. Mike, I want to help. I can return to Alpha Protocol, but I had to warn you first. I can still help you from the inside. All right, Mina, but be careful. I think we're only going to get one shot at this. What are you going to do? Call in a few favors. If Alpha Protocol thinks it's the only one with an army, they're in for a shock. World War Three is it on the horizon. Save the fucking game. A recent European yeah, we didn't exactly choose identical options, but I, I didn't particularly care about that. I just want the conversation with me not to go somewhere. Uh, it's a. I, I hate the checkpoint system. I, I really fucking do hate it. It's a. It's not ever going to prevent me from playing through a game, but it's a. It's a real. Downer when we, when I consider do I want to play this game again and the answer is usually yeah uh, no I, I'd rather play something else I mean if the checkpoint system can be done 
better. At least have multiple, so you basically save a handful of them. So you can go back. But with this you have checkpoints and then especially when there are those uh, long conversations like we had after the mission we uh, had a conversation with the Chinese officer then there were a flashback where we talked with Leland then it uh, comes back here so we have this conversation and there are checkpoints between those however there's no way to say the checkpoints so basically if you want to go back you cannot go back anymore and immediately after this conversation ends it all again automatic save so you're just fucked if you haven't manually created save games earlier and and the game just keeps screwing you over with those automatic checkpoint saves that then don't allow you to manually save so the checkpoint just basically the only purpose of the checkpoint really is to overwrite the previous useful checkpoints it's a it's a it this is a shitty checkpoint system and i don't like good checkpoint systems i i, I just just not just don't get it uh, as a pc gamer mainly i suppose this is the shit i saw over about 20 25 years ago maybe and at, at that time it was basically over you never saw this shit again because you you just had quick save and manual saving and it's it's just a far superior system complement that with some kind of auto save system like the checkpoints here so if the game crashes and you have uh, or something happens unexpected and you've uh, forgotten to save you're you're not screwed over you you'll be just fine that's how I see uh, it's like playing a game where the auto save is the only thing you can rely on and it's just just a terrible system where am I? in a new place apparently Yeah, a lot of emails. From C. Michael, I recently got word that I'm being reassigned to some undisclosed location. I'm told I'll have to be sedated in transit to and from the assignment so as to maintain secrecy. And to add insult to injury, they're only paying me double my normal rate for all this inconvenience. What a mess. Anyway, the thought of being helpless and blindfolded made me think of you. How are you, darling? We'll stay professional. See, I'm quite certain this undisclosed location is the headquarters of my old agency. The whole sedated transit in and out sounds like an elaborate, elaborate but certainly effective method of location control. I need your assistance on this matter. I have no other solid leads on how to pinpoint the facility's location. If you'd be willing to wear a tracking device for me, I could track your signal and kick down the front door, at which point I'd be more than thrilled to have your fire support on my side. Consider my op offer and contact me ASAP. Uh, I still think Mina is probably a traitor to Alpha Protocol. That makes sense. We're basically playing Alpha Protocol, the one agency that uh, could have uh, prevented all this shit from happening, play, playing it out, out of the equation. That makes more sense to me. It's it's all somewhat based on my interactions in the earlier game. I mean, this is just guesswork, but because the, it was sort of limited, at the same time the people we met seemed important. However, if they're the true 
the movers behind all this, it, it just doesn't make sense. It, it makes more sense if they knew that they're being used uh, and uh, or compromised and they basically have made some kind of a effort to counter that or contingency plans to counter that. Oh dang, Mr. Thornton, I will spare you any pleasantries. The Chinese secret police suspects there is an agency known as Alpha Protocol created by American agents, but without the official public backing of the US government. I say suspect because there has been no confirmation. Attach attached is the information I could find on the matter. I doubt you will find this information to be of use. No doubt, you have more information on Alpha Protocol. The fact that we're going to Alpha Protocol means the agency is going to basically erase itself and just pop up anew. Uh, I'm guessing that all the damage we're going to do is going to be achieved by just going there. Basically, when it's revealed, it's no longer useful, it has to be uh, removed. Ah, the maniac. Mike, I have, any, I have important news. I totally did it two chicks at once. Hell yeah. What are you up to? My contact's been asking me for info on the big old Michael F. Thornton. What is your middle name anyway? I got stoned off my ass and a minotaur told me it was Finnegan. I doubt the credibility of his argument. So yeah, I guess the Russian, the Euros, the Chinese, a ton of agencies are looking out of... Uh, out of a fortune matching your ugly mug. Don't worry, it's me. We go way back. Remember that time I told you about the two chicks at once? Anyway, sounds like you've been a busy boy. Drop me a line sometime. Okay, business banter blunt. Well, we probably aren't gonna be blunt. I haven't as assassinated anyone yet, which is why I'm writing. I have unfinished business with my former employer. I have a violent homecoming on my hands, and I'd like to have your special brand of belligerence on my side. Location and ETA are currently unknown. I'll arrange a drop with my PDA. On it will be instructions for tracking me once the main event begins. Consider it an open invite to crack some heads. Wow, two ladies simultaneously. They collectively weigh less than 600 pounds. Getting off the subject of fat chicks, I need a favor. If you're willing, I need to pay my Uncle Sam a visit. Problem is, I don't know exactly where the reunion will take place yet. And I don't think I can take you with me. I'm going to send you instructions on checking my location by my, my PDA, which I'll leave at a prearranged location. If you can follow the instructions on it, I can guarantee you a veritable buffet of maid. Think about it. Yeah, I'll send this. It's more fitting for him. Not sure about the fat jokes. Mina intercepted an internal memo sent to Leland. Mr. Leland, I've run the numbers and we're short of our projections for this quarter. Our stock price is rebounding, but we've been unable to return to last year's high. Investor confidence is dwindling, and we're in no position to report why so much money has been taken out of our Western and Eastern General Funds. I remain rather optimistic. We have created for ourselves a good deal of fertile soil in Russia, Italy and Taiwan. Sure, we have had a few threats on rebels, but such is the cost of doing business. The EU is a small push away from Patriot Act style panic. Moscow's underworld remains a profitable, even if unstable, cash crop. And the Sung incident has turned Taiwan into a wellspring of defense contracts. 
As per your request, I've moved the sum you requested for your personal security entourage, though I regret to inform you that I could not fulfill some of the personnel and hardware requests included in your missive. I apologize for the inconvenience. Scarlet. Believe it or not, I'm still in Taipei. I'm guessing you got out. I can't believe Song survived getting shot. Guess he was paranoid enough to wear a vest. I'd bet good money whatever person or group is behind this will try again and next time aim for the head. Not surprisingly, he's been keeping out of public appearances and not just because he's worried about assassins. The riots are out of control and there's too much going on to leave right now. I've never been seen things so tense. They're shutting down sections of the city and there's cur a curfew in effect. People are worked up and they're eager to lay the blame even before all the facts are in. The body count has, has risen from initial reports. 30 dead as of today, more wounded. And any chance of peaceful demonstrations are remote. Whatever happens here, it's going to start a chain reaction in Asia. I feel it. Not to sell. Mr. Leland, as you predicted, the People's Republic of China has a glut of US dollars and they're paying handsomely for weaponry. The Taiwan government can't step to the same price, but we've given them a discount. And in doing so, I think we bypassed the bidding war for their highway reconstruction contract. Attached is a list of itemized sales. We've gone to great lengths to make sure we're selling weapons with different ammunition requirements. If and when fighting breaks out, we don't want them scrounging each other's ammo. We want them coming back to us for more bullets. If Best Friend is a success, we should look into selling the services of military advisors to both sides, obviously. I'm suggesting we step up our foreign language training so that we will have a supply to match the demand. We'll send it to Scarlet. Mailer. This email sent from the CIA listening post. It, you wanted the numbers on that riot in Taipei. Well, PRC isn't talking so I have to pull estimates from the hospitals. We have at least 100 dead, over 300 wounded. That's leaving out three hospitals that wouldn't report numbers. Three Americans were killed, students stood studying abroad at the time. Hopefully that's the extent of it, but there might be more reported. One was beaten badly and bled to death, another lit on fire, third got up lucky with a single blow to the head that caused internal decapitation. What is internal decapitation? Needless to say, this is going to be a big story in the States. In other news, Sung is officially alive, I confirmed that. They're not just playing the Castro game and pretending the leader is still alive to keep up appearances. New intel, new missions. Well... I'm not gonna buy anything. We've been doing just fine with what we have. Contact Scarlet Lake. Infiltrate Alpha Protocol. Endgame. We got new information about Alpha Protocol. Westridge has a number of ops under his belt. One is an operation called the Running Gun Blues in Colombia in the 1980s. Drug dealer Marco Magia decided to move into the military supply business, moving equipment to groups unfriendly to American interest. Westridge went undercover to gain his trust, but things didn't go smoothly. Westridge cites overzealous DEA agents in the files. 
U.S. military outfit called. The United States military is one of the most highly trained and well outfitted military force in the world. The soldiers assigned to Alpha Protocol are among the finest. It is notable that many are chosen more for their loyalty, patriotism, and preferably lack of family ties instead of solely combat experience. Anything new? We're still missing quite a bit of information on some of these people. I sort of have trouble believing that fiercely patriotic people like Westridge would really give, a, give two shits about uh, what some kind of company wants. Company profits do not really yeah, matter to him. Either way, not much we can do here. You have received a call from Scarlet Lake. Meet up with her, see what she wants, and pass along evidence of Halbeck's involvement to her for safekeeping. Scarlet? Come in, Mike. Your door was open. You don't seem surprised. How did you know it was me? I would have known if it wasn't you. Footsteps are like signatures. That's an interesting skill to have picked up. In case you haven't guessed already, I don't have much of a social life. What is it you needed, Mike? Got another story to pass along? Yes, but it's complicated. That so? What a surprise. Very little about you seems simple. I was pretty certain you might be Interpol or military. But my gut tells me intelligence. But none of my contacts have heard of you. Contacts? So you've been checking up on me? I didn't want to, but you really don't leave me much choice if I want to know the truth. If I was intelligence, is that something you think I'd tell a journalist? You tell me. And I'd like you to be honest with me, if you can. I think I deserve that much. There's not much to say. I used to work for the United States government. I still do, in my own way. What do you mean? I'm not exactly welcome back home. When you met me in Saudi Arabia, that was my last official mission with the US. After that, I've been on my own. Except for people I've met on the way. Like you. It doesn't sound like you've had a chance to relax in Saudi Arabia. That's an understatement. My military and intelligence contacts didn't have much on you. Not surprising. So, I checked the corporate gossip. Halbeck's taken quite an interest in you. Let's just say Leyland and I don't see eye to eye on business practices. You ever met him? At press conferences? Quite the snake. But that doesn't explain why Halbeck would be after you. He's just jealous of my wardrobe. His rise up the corporate ladder hasn't done much for his fashion sense, so he's taking it out on me. I guess a straight answer was too much to hope for. Keep your secrets, then. I don't care. Scarlet, it's a long story, and I don't have the time to tell you. Then why are you here? Because I need your help, that's why. I have something Halbeck wants to keep buried. It's... evidence. And I can't think of better hands for it to be in than yours. It concerns that airliner in the Middle East. The one that was brought down by the missile. What do you want me to do? If you don't hear from me in 24 hours, then take it to the nearest newspaper or television station. Halbeck may try and stop you, but I'm guessing you're smarter than they are. So you trust me enough for this, but not enough to give me the whole story? It's better you not know. All right then. I'll help you, Mike. But next time, it might help if you trusted people a bit more. I'm in the agent business. I'm not trusting anyone. And new mate. Ah. 
Mike, wow, where do you find this? Actually, I'm sure if you told me, you'd have to kill me. I'll give my editor a call. I think if I hurry, I can get this into a print piece, circulate around the Pacific Rim. Uh, $1,000. All right. Worthless. See, Michael, I'd love to help you, but I'm actually leaving in a matter of minutes. I could try and contact you once I get there and maybe trace my call or something. Anyway, darling, I have to go. Sorry I could not help. Stephen Feck. Heck. Stephen Feck. That's a much better name. This is an automated reply. You've reached Stephen Heck, Esquire. I'm currently doing things of extreme importance and I'm unlikely to check my email in the near future. Don't despair. I have a large quantity of narcotics sitting in my anus in case I'm buried alive. Yeah. That's that's good to know. Infiltrate Alpha Protocol. Surrender to Sean Darcy. Allowing yourself to be captured by Alpha Protocol so they can take you to the grey box. From there you'll be on your own. So make sure you settled all your affairs before you give yourself up. It's your last chance as a free man to take action. I'll actually leave things here. Uh, I would assume there's a lot of introductory or dialogue before we get to do anything. So I want to see it all.